Hey everyone, thanks for choosing to watch this uh, quick video of how I keep my car clean. Uh, we begin by doing the mats. Uh, I use this product, it's a turtle wax product that I uh, get from Walmart. You can pretty much get it from any auto uh, store around you. Um, also from Amazon too, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it's super easy to use, you don't have to wet the mats or anything like that. I like to uh, actually uh, vacuum them I guess before, uh, just to get any loose dirt out. And then uh, just spray on the foam, and uh, it comes with a little brush uh, that I uh, that I use. So you can use your own brush if you have one that you prefer. I just I guess I use the one that came with it. Just uh, brush the actual carpet until the foam disappears. And the good thing about this, uh, which uh, made out a product that I really liked, is that it's not anything that you have to worry about, uh, you know, rinsing out with water afterwards or anything like that. So. It is pretty quick and it, it works really, really well. As well as kind of, you know, gives the carpet a new life look, especially uh, around the areas where uh, your feet, you know, rest. And you'll see kind of the carpet uh, is different than the rest of the carpet. It's more flat looking. So it's a really good product. And uh, probably the best part also is that it gives the uh, mats a nice fresh smell uh, because, of course, it is a carpet. So it's going to hold, uh, you know, any smells that you know come off your shoes or you know if it's raining and you jump in the car uh, it'll hold all that kind of smell so kind of revitalizes the car smell too and uh, keeps the car smelling fresh uh, for much longer than it would if you use something else so this is just a you know uh, super quick shot as you saw I next uh, go through the car itself with this little vacuum that I bought from Walmart uh, it's super inexpensive it's really small it fits in the trunk um, it's not battery operated or anything, so you do need a wall plug. Um, and uh, yeah, it works for wet and dry. It's an awesome vacuum. Uh, it's lasted me a very long time. I just go through the car, of course, uh, vacuum all the spots that I can um, with the attachments. It doesn't come with may very many, just like a long attachment and sort of like your average looking vacuum, uh, like horizontal attachment. But um, I find that this works great. Um, and I have used it, of course, on... Uh, another car seats, um, and it works great with uh, when uh, when you use it with wet, uh, you know, environments, I guess. So uh, downside to my car, as you can see, uh, cat hair. Uh, it's something that's pretty much unavoidable, but I do this process about once a month, and uh, keeps the car as dust free, cat hair free as possible, of course, um, and uh, keeps the fresh look of the car. I just move on to the back. I like to move the seats, you know, forward and back as as needed. It makes it a lot easier to get in certain spots under the seats. Um, just be a little careful with the shop vac. It does have a good amount of suction, so if you're under the the seats, make sure you don't get any of the wires or anything down there. They're pretty sturdy as it is, but just be careful. Uh, I moved on to the uh, quick interior detailer from Meguiar's, of course, my favorite uh, car product company. Um, this is just to give all the interior panels a nice uh, once over to give them a nice look. I use a soft bristle, bristle brush, <laughs> it's hard to say, uh, from uh, Mothers. Uh, it's, a, it's a great little tool to, you know, uh, get any, any dirt out of the small nooks and crannies um, before I actually wipe down uh, the panels. Uh, it's, it's not going to scratch the, you know, gloss black or aluminum or anything like that. It's a soft bristle brush. Um, I recommend having one. It helps a lot. Now with this actual detailer itself, it's recommended to spray it directly onto the microfiber towel. Microfiber towel. Uh, however, uh, I did the complete opposite. I'd like to spray it on the actual door panel itself um, and uh, wipe it off that way. Uh, when I do get into the actual uh, dashboard and, and certain parts uh, which are a little bit more delicate, then I'll actually spray it onto the microfiber towel itself. Um, this product is awesome. It has a great smell, of course as do all the other Meguiar's products. But main importance that I like about it is it doesn't leave kind of like a, a greasy residue or anything like that, which is what I'm going for. I don't want that, you know, overly shiny look that maybe some of the Armor All products may come with or like if you have slightly less expensive product. Of course, this isn't expensive or fancy by any means. 
Um, it's just, I think, 10 Canadian dollars at Walmart. Uh, so in the States, you know, uh, seven, eight bucks. You can get them on sale pretty regularly. So definitely do take a look around before you actually go buy it. Again, this is the brush. Super helpful in some certain spots around the center console. I like to go through the cup holders, as you can see, kind of lift up any uh, anything stuck in the corners. It's good for uh, you know getting all that dust out of there uh, as a kind of a precursor to the actually uh, the actual clean up itself with the detailer. So I'll give it a, a quick spray here and there, and uh, I'll just wipe it down. I find it looks really good. It doesn't leave any sort of like a slippery feel either uh, on, on the uh, armrest as you saw I sprayed that. I do like to use it on the seats. I don't spray it on the seats or even spray it on the microfiber towel. I just use the towel after I've done everything. It's kind of wet at that point. And then I'll just kind of go into the crevices of the seat with the uh, actual bristle brush. And then I'll, uh, I'll go over it with the microfiber and it revitalizes the seats especially the ones that I have, they have the ventilated option. Uh, so there are a bunch of uh, holes in the actual seat. I like to make sure they're constantly, uh, you know, clear of any dust or anything like that. That way that function actually works properly. This is safe to use on your screens and uh, the display, of course. Uh, so that's what I use that for. Um, it keeps the display nice and kind of oil free. I don't know if it adds an oilophobic uh, coating to it at all, but I find it helps with keeping it from smearing or uh, getting any of like finger oil on there as you use the screen. And it works perfectly for me. I like to use the dashboard uh, as a, kind of a good example as to how this product works really well uh, because it does add a little bit of UV uh, protection to the plastics um, on the Kia Forte. It's an injected molded plastic, so it's not, it looks like leather, but it's not. So it kind of keeps it from fading, cracking, all that stuff. It's a really good product, of course. There is Meguiar's Ultimate Interior Detailer if you wanted a slightly more high-end product from them. But the one I use here should work right. This is my favorite glass cleaner. It's just from you know a company named Sprayway. I bought it in the States. I can't find it in Canada, so I don't know what I'll do when the actual can ends. But it's a foam cleaner, and that's why I like it uh, probably more than Windex or anything else. Uh, it's also ammonia free, so um, from my tint shop told me it's safe to use um, on tint also. So I have a special cloth, I guess, or microfiber towel uh, for glass. Um, I only use it for glass. It doesn't have any uh, kind of fibers to it. It's more like a flat, leathery feeling towel, but I'll leave a link in the description as to uh, you know what it is so you can actually take a look. Um, but of course, with the glass, less is more. Don't overspray it, and uh, it'll turn out perfect. I don't go over it again. That's all I do, and I never have any, you know, smearing or smudging or anything like that on the windshield. Never forget the rearview mirror, an often neglected portion of the interior detail. But here's a quick before shot, and then here's an after shot. It's not, you know, a detail quality, or I'm not a pro or anything like that but that's how I keep my car nice and clean. Um, you know, when you get into your car every day, you like to see it uh, looking good and it kind of makes you feel better about your car, of course. So just gonna continue on with these before and after shots. Uh, this is kind of the uh, driver's side area. It, it wasn't that bad to begin with, I guess, compared to some of the others I've seen. However, um, you know, it's enough for me to, uh, to clean it, of course. And here's an, I guess another before shot of the door panel itself. Uh, that area gets pretty pretty dusty and uh, dirty, so I like to clean that. And this is an after shot here. Um, definitely, I think it makes a huge difference um, and definitely, definitely helps with the smell. Um, if you like to keep your car smelling fresh, uh, this is the number one thing to do um, because it doesn't, you know, let the, the stuff sit in the car and, you know, emit all that smell while you're not actually in the car. Um, just keeps all the fibers of the carpet, especially nice and clean. And this is an after shot, I believe. Uh, of course, no one really sits in the back of my car, but just in case, uh, got to keep it nice and clean. And I like to end it off with a fresh, uh, you know, air freshener. It's I think it's a barber shop or fresh shave smell. Um, it's not you know crazy. Uh, it smells great, keeps the car fresh. 
Thank you so much for sticking to the end and watching the video. Uh, I appreciate your support. Please leave in the comment section if you have any ideas for future videos. I'd love to hear and uh, maybe what you do to keep your car nice and clean. Thank you so much. Have a great day.